Hello, dear friends. Thomas Manton IV. Just wanted to uh, say a quick word from the Lord here about a call to prayer. I really believe um, that God is shaking people in this season to get them to begin to rise up to um, cause a new thing to happen that's not happened before in people's lives and you know across the world uh, you can't get something new doing something status quo or old you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to fix what you have been uh, trying to get done you're gonna have to fix it up I mean get it get it on get it on get on with it it's very important and this is the time an hour now for a new awakening and an outpouring like we've never seen uh, the Lord is summoning people to come to his presence and another thing that's great I want to talk about for a second is the mercy of God he's merciful especially to those who are called according to his purpose you know Romans 8 28 says that all things are uh, so th there's a call from heaven to, to the earth right now um, for people to get in the spirit of prayer I'm serious to pray for what for the nations I'm going to do a uh, a broadcast I, I have this backdrop a canvas of all the nations it's not very colorful I don't really like it enough it's you know I want it to be more colorful I'll get a colorful one but it's just like a flat of all the nations and I just put my hands on that and speak that God will begin to do something new now I, I don't say that because the, you know, it's just like really appropriate to say, like, let's pray for the nations. You know, we've been hearing that forever and a day. Come on now. I'm talking about a new thing that God really wants to do. And and he, he is doing it in you. So it's like a call to get closer to God. I, last week I was doing this, uh, I, was, I was doing this message on intimacy. And the Lord began to... Uh, Give me a couple of a couple of sessions on that, and and I deliver that now. And this thing about praying to prepare oneself for the greater thing that's coming—that's part of it. That's a prophetic word. And then the Lord spoke to me about His mercy and His compassion. I want to speak that over you. Romans eight twenty eight again says, "All things work together for good for those who are called by God according to His own purpose. They work together for good." So the Lord is doing things behind the scenes to help you and me and all of his good elect people to really get on with his program in what he's about to do. This is very, very vital that you understand that God is working behind the scenes. Uh, I just threw a, a piece on that I did. It's just about a nine minute clip and I just came out of the gym and the spa I was feeling really like not ready for prime time but um, I had to do it anyway you know and the Lord was speaking about how he's doing things behind the scenes for us you that are believing for provision financially for the vision that God's called you to for the projects and the works that he's called you to 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 make happen my friend get ready for the Get ready for the most, the most awesome miracles financially you've ever seen in the history of your life. God is stepping in to begin to provide and fund the things that you are to do. Fun and fund and fun. The Lord wants you to enjoy life. But you know what? Those of us that are serious about the will of God being done... You know, as far as uh, the Lord is is really um, having us be, you know, we're just thinking about what we can do and get done for His will. Uh, that what He's called us to do. That's it. Uh, the twilight stars are coming bright, and 
That's some mist from rain, rain showers on the on the roof here, and praise God, it's great. So know this: the word of the Lord. Get back close to Him, more close. You you, you might think, well, I'm doing this and and that, and I'm I'm all right, and then you know, but there's no there's there's a greater consecration that you can walk into intimacy with him and uh, and to pray to take time praying really meditating in the word in the spirit listening to god then you know of course listen to him document what he says follow his instructions do that and another next thing his mercy is working for you because you're his because you love him because you're serious about taking time with him you're not just doing everything else and you don't care about god he, uh, people that care about the Lord, he cares about you. You know, someone says, well, doesn't he love everybody anyway? Well, he has this love for the human race, all the seven point something billion people that are on the earth now, but he's not liking all that they're doing and he's not liking all of them with his favor. So don't think that for a minute. He said, draw, now let me give you the Bible for, for saying that. He said, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. You know, sometimes what you do first determines what God does second. If you show him you're serious, he begins to convict you, come to you, demand things of you, and and really, uh, you know, uh, begin to, you know, summon you up higher, and you, you're like really serious about walking in that, he, he's not going to take that lightly. So we don't, we don't live on planet Earth for what we can just get in the world's things. We want the will of God accomplished. And whatever you want to enjoy in life, good things, I mean, that God made, that's fine. But that's not a goal for any spiritual person. We want to conquer nations. We want to see rulers and leaders of nations, people in political arenas, business arenas, the high and the mighty bow down and begin to say, Jesus Christ is Lord. I've become convinced the fact that he's Lord. And I want to summon all the people that I have influence to. That they will also bow their knee and call him Lord. Oh, yes. And know that he's working behind the scenes for you. That is the word of the Lord. This message that I did. God spoke to me and said... I'm working behind the scenes for you. I'm working on things for you. You are really, truly, truly going to be blessed, my precious son, my precious daughter. You who are serving him, you're going to be blessed. He spoke that to me, Thomas. He said, told me that. And he said, tell my people that there's many that I'm working for. So the provision that you need, the next point, you're, gonna, you're going to have it. Financially, you're going to have it. You're going to, be, you're going to really have the money in hand, in accounts, all of that to begin to fulfill the purpose and plan that God has for you. But the main thing is that you're connected and very close with him. Oh, this is a time in the world, in, in life like never before. We need to be very, very close. Very, 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 very close with the Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for this. Breathe a fresh wind of your presence upon your sons and daughters. Thank you for being my partner in the ministry also. I appreciate those of you that are my partners and friends and loving our world missions, loving what we're doing, connected with us, trekking with us here online and the broadcasts and praying with us. The prayer is continuing. We're now in the second month. I think we're at 34, 35 days, somewhere like that. Uh, 18, 12, yeah, we're like... Uh, we're like 35 or 36 days into it. And I'm, I'm going to continue. So it's renewed from July, middle of July to middle of August. Another 30 days of prayer. And, you know, we do other things. It's not like we just like lost and locked in a closet somewhere. Uh, no, but we're taking time to be meditating, praying without ceasing all the time. It's like an upward thing. This is really the the... the the call, it's, it's why it's easy for me to renew and continue this because it's not hard. It's like it's it's just like a it's really a mental attitude. It's a it's a heart attitude. It's a spiritual posturing.
to want to be very, very close to the Lord and listening to His voice and flowing with Him. Man, I feel the presence of God falling right now. Father, thank you. Touch my friend. And uh, I can't reach for it right now, but if you ask for my book, The Benefits of Excellence, and the DVD I did on the power to create wealth, I can gladly send that to you when you're sowing a, a, any generous seed to our ministry. Our world missions is on. We're doing things in the nations of the world. And I'll, of course, give some reports on that. But right now, I just wanted to say these, you know, five or six things. He want, he's calling you to himself. He's going to talk to you. His mercy is sure over you. His, 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 his love is for you. His, 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 his heart is responding to your passion for him. He's working financially things for you that you can have provision for his vision. What he orders, he pays for. You're going to have it. You're going to see the miraculous in the realm of finances. And we're going to see the nations of the world shaken for our great boss, the great Lord and King of the universe, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the Holy Spirit, and the Father God, and all his myriads of angels, the four and twenty elders, and the multiplied millions of others that are on the other side, and one day we'll all be joined together for the next millennium. But in this world that we're in right now, we need to really, really, really see the hand of God do a lot of great things for us, to us, through us, so the world would be shaken and become a better place to live for many people because we obeyed God and we carried his anointing to the nations of, to the nations of the world. Amen. So the website is thomasmanton.com. You can join me there and connect up with us there in Jesus name. Love you much. Make sure you fill out your information and details on the portal on the website and do so a seed for our world missions and I will be praying for you as I'm seeing you appear uh, you're in my prayers and I love each and every one of you very much with the love of God um, very much especially those that are really 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 diligently endeavoring to please the Lord and to do his mighty will in the earth the Lord bless you for that in Jesus name it's a hot high time right now to ascend before the throne of God and really really be making intercession and getting prepared and ready for the next great wave of glory that's coming. And it is coming. I'm prophesying that. It's coming. His power is coming in greater ways than you've even thought of before. So get ready, my friend. It's glorious. It's a glorious time right now. So I will talk to you on the next broadcast. Love you much. Make it a great, great day in Jesus' name. Share this, and I look forward to hearing from you. Amen. The Lord bless you richly. Amen.